I don't want to read too much into this, but it's better than a, a poke in the eye. Uh, Manu Raju at CNN about an hour ago now uh, tweeted out, asked Pelosi if they'd have to drop any of the key pillars of their plan to reduce the price tag. This is the this is the build back better. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep plan. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, universal pre-K, child tax credit, tuition-free community college, paid family leave, Medicare expansion. And she suggests that they will instead look at paring back the number of years. This is the smartest and most obvious play. Look, yesterday we played on the show the ad that the um, Medicare, that the, 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 some Republican PAC put out about the, the government, uh, you know, squeezing Medicare. And now, here's a photo of Joe Biden. And here's, here's yeah, you can, you can look up on the web who the president is <laughs> and then call him. Stop touching my Medicare. <laughs> but if your opponent in a two-party system is running, claiming that you are squeezing Medicare and you are the party which relative to the other party certainly but maybe even in a vacuum in this instance is seeking to protect or expand medicare it should be a tip off to you that they don't want to be considered the party that is not doing those things yeah to the point where they're actually outright lying they've done this before in 2010 After the, the, the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, the Obamacare, one of the ways in which they raised money for that uh, Obamacare in the plan was they had found, and, they, they, and there was an awareness of this for, next, you know, for a while before this, but they decided to do something about it, that the Medicare Advantage plan, which is a supplemental plan within Medicare, that is more private that their reimbursement rates for healthcare providers were about 20% higher than they should be private insurers don't tend to uh, negotiate very hard because phew, why would they they it's it they make money off of like the sort of the the the, the volume of dollars that pass through them. Yeah. Because they have a markup, right? If I'm raising rates 18%, well, that, that, that's, that's actually just relative to their own markup. But, they, but there is a markup. And, 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 and we can see the dynamic within the context of the ACA now, 80% of their money that they take in from premiums has to go to, to paying uh, providers. So if you want to raise the actual dollar figure of that 20% that you keep for you, you pay more than you need to, <laughs> right? I mean, right. this is a basic, like, you know, if I'm doing a markup, if I'm a caterer and or I'm doing a, like, I'm, I'm an event planner and I get a 10% markup on every service I provide. You fudge the numbers. Well, no, I don't need to fudge numbers. I get a, a more expensive caterer. Okay. Because if the caterer is charging twenty five hundred bucks, I put two fifty in my pocket. If they're charging five thousand bucks, I put five hundred in my pocket, and the work I'm doing is exactly the same. And so, uh, but you know, in that instance, the the the, the wedding person may say, like, "Hey, I don't want the five thousand dollar caterer." And and then everybody around uh, Sam says, "You're cheap." No, that's uh, I'm not talking about me. But um, but in this instance. What do you, you know, uh, individuals aren't saying like, hey, this, 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 that's not what a CAT scan should cost me or whatever it is. Um, anyways, the, so the ACA cut back on those payments to providers by Medicare Advantage. No difference to the Medicare uh, participants. It only hurt the providers. But the Republicans ran on the decrease of payments to Medicare Advantage, even though it didn't implicate the medical services that individuals received at all. And they ran on that cut. 
saying that Democrats were cutting Medicare. And they ran on that in 2010. They were hugely successful. That should be a hint to Democrats that you want to get on the right side of the Medicare issue and you want to make it explicit. Yes. It's not, are we, uh, you know, defending it versus the lie that they're telling? It's we're coming out and we're expanding Medicare. We're expanding the benefits and we're expanding the people that are covered by it. They are afraid to do that because there's a separate constituency that they are worried about. I, I mean, explicitly, Nancy Pelosi is against it. Yes. She is against it. And and what's interesting, too, is that Build Back Better, all of the individual components in it, when you ask people in polling what they favor, sky-high approval ratings, sky high. including expanding Medicare. Build Back Better in and of itself polls above water, but not necessarily super well. It's definitely a drop-off. And we've already covered how Biden's approval rating has tanked. Yep. There's an inability whether it be because of the Democrats' fears about pissing off those providers or health insurers or big pharma or whatever it is, or whether it's the fact that Biden has an inability or an unwillingness to communicate these kinds of issues. Um, there's a disconnect between what's in Build Back Better, which sounds convoluted and people think it's infrastructure when it's all these human elements, um, and and the actual policies policies which are connecting with people well and part of it is too is that i mean let's be honest i mean it is to say the democrats in this instance you know joe manchin's a democrat bernie sanders is effectively a democrat um and they want very disparate things and the fact of the matter is is that i don't know what the breakdown within the democratic caucuses i think the vast majority are willing to sign on to uh, joe biden's 3.5 trillion dollar bill in fact the, the overwhelming majority would sign on to it in fact all of them would except for one or two at this point but nancy pelosi's disdain for an expansion of medicare while she doesn't articulate it operates as a um, that's a countervailing force and diminishes the amount of, of unified messaging that can take place. Um, she has, from the very beginning, want to make sure that expanding the applicants, the people that can subscribe to Medicare, dropping it down to 60, let's say, or 55, was off the table for her. And she doesn't come out and ta say it too often. She says it enough. But um, it's there. It becomes a, a drag uh, on the efforts to do so. Um, Heather Cargile, Cagle, Cagle? at uh, Political, polit Politico. <laughs> I'm having one of those days, folks. Wow. Yeah, I know. I, I, I said, I, I, I miss said like four different things during uh, that interview. Uh, there's a lot of confusion, even among Hill Democrats, not just press, about how to read Pelosi's comments. Basically, I think what she's saying is they will do both. Yes, there'll be some big cuts, but they'll also pare back years on other programs, come in at a dollar target. That's, I mean... And yeah. then Drew Hamill, Pelosi's deputy chief of staff, uh, quoted to Heather and said, yes, that's what the speaker is saying here. So it's both. We're going to cut out some programs and we're going to cut back on the years of these programs and uh leave it to um there's a piece in the new york times about what who will get hurt with like these cuts who are at the front lines here um i mean care workers home care workers are some of the many people who will be hurt by these these cuts um of course now daca recipients and uh that's already done the parliamentarian has ruled on it and the parliamentarian is the queen so we have to defer but i mean f i'm fine with cutting the number of years if it's the scalp that mansion and cinema need in order to say that they've cut down this dollar figure to this arbitrary amount but damn it's going to be a huge issue if we're significantly cutting some of these uh, programs right i mean substantively C eliminating these programs or eliminating the proposals uh, what are we going to gonna cut paid leave what are we going to cut child care subsidies are we going to cut those home care worker that home care worker money 
We're going to cut the climate change provisions. What are we going to cut here? In terms of the the substance of these proposals, if you want to make it shorter, I hate it, but like that's kind of the price of doing business with these lunatics like Mansion and Cinema and Gottheimer. But maybe, may I mean that that's the only route to go. But I think that they're going to do both, and I'm worried about what that means. <laughs>